we go. Let's get to business. Happy Thursday night, Knicks. To all the Knicks fans out there, uh, Jay Ellis, I think David Fisdale is officially on watch after the Knicks lose once again by 37 Woo. points. Three seven, three seven points. Uh, I don't see how. I told you guys he wasn't gonna last. You know, I'm not wishing for nothing, nothing on, on nobody, Jails. But I think it's over, man. I think it's over. A Thirty-four to eighteen run in the second quarter, and Jeez. basically it was over with. It was time to pour up a drink, and, and that's basically where we're at right now, Jails. It's over. It, it's done, man. Yeah, it's done. Uh, is is he is he at the podium now? I'm trying to figure out because he, he might be fired before he gets to the podium. Not yet. I haven't. I haven't. I didn't even want to wait for the press conference, man. I'm done, man. It's it's done. It's, it's, it's done. A, uh, it's, it's, it's done. It's, Dolan it's, was at the game for the first half. Did not come back out after halftime. Nah. We had a uh, Terry was there live, and he said people were leaving in the third quarter. People were leaving. Yeah, definitely. When nobody came back out in the third quarter, it looked like South Beach in MSG, man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Like, it looked like the Knicks actually tried to do something in the first quarter. He actually had to leave for a quick minute. Yeah. Uh, it actually that- looked like something that you would want to stay around for. Yeah. It's like, oh, all right. We, we around. We fighting. <laughs> yeah. We got this. We we in the game. Uh, Yeah. Second unit comes in and Haywire assumes <laughs> Fizdale unleashes his death lineup of DSJ. <laughs> and Alfred, what was that, J. Ellis? What was that? You had Dotson in a consistent rhythm. Okay, not playing the best, but in a consistent rhythm coming off the bench. Even Ellington. You bring Peyton back for the first time, and the lineup that you bring him in with is with DSJ? Yeah, that makes no sense. I don't get it. I don't get it. How You need the floor spacing. I get he wants two ball handlers, but you just need the floor spacing, and it's already congested enough with DSJ not hitting shots. You're going to add Alfred Payton to the mix and make things worse for these guys? Like, it, it, it was bad. Makes I, I no made, sense. It made no sense. No, no sense. sense. You, you want to tell me that the roster is clunky and all that? Okay, but don't compound the issue by throwing clunky players out there together, JLs just doesn't work it's not a perfect roster i get it these guys all have flaws i get it but who's respecting the the offense in that backcourt you already it's already bad enough with frank and rj out there because we know for sure they ain't shooting it but then you're gonna bring go ahead threes i mean frank hitting threes he had like he he almost he shot like three for four today yeah yeah because we were so desperate even frank was shooting out there tonight man (laughs) That, that's so how take over the game. That's how ugly it got. Frank was trying to take over this thing, man. Like, let me get my line real quick. Hold on. <laughs> you know, and then it's just three pointer after three pointer. Jails. They went twenty one oh. for thirty nine from downtown, fifty three percent from three. Yeah, fifty three percent from three. Jails. Yeah, twenty one May three season high for the Nuggets. 38 assists, season high for the Nuggets. The so Nuggets just pretty much danced all over us. It was uh, uh, it, It's just, you know, you, you can't make it up here. And check out this quote from uh, from Morris, the Nuggets Morris, not, not our Morris. Right? This is the long-lost brother of the Morris twins. Um, check out this quote. Shout out to Macri for this. After the game, he says, uh, Monte Morris, no relation. Literally just told Rebecca Harlow after the game that the Nuggets knew the scouting report on the Knicks was that they tried to wall off the paint so shooters had to be ready. Again, you want to blame a clunky roster, blame it. But when you're dead last in defending the three-point line, yep. how is this a good strategy? I'm not a coach, JLs, I, but I how aren't. is this a good strategy? Please tell me. I think we are a coach now. I mean, we can't coach compared to what's happening out there. And it's funny because it took them like a good how many quarters for him to kind of adjust. And it still wasn't enough. Like, dog, I don't understand how you're just going to keep switching and switching. When you have a point guard who came into the league as one of the best pick and roll defenders in the NBA, how do you continually just not have to fight? Yeah, let's switch them off on Jokic and and see what happens. And see what happens. And they did that all night. Switch to Jokic, Jokic's post, find somebody in that same corner a whole Oof. night long. Same play. Every single time. And it worked. You got 10 guys in the paint, J. Ellis. Why? 
For what reason? For what reason? And leaving the easiest three-pointer in the game wide open. Wide open. Yeah, man. Everybody's waiting for that Woj bomb, dog. I'm waiting for it. Everybody's waiting. I'm waiting for it. Listen, I I, I was I felt like I've been fair with this guy. I felt like yeah. I've been patient with him. Yeah. And it's not even about wins. Okay, nah, Jails. Let's 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 throw that out there right now to 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 quiet the people that say the next coach in here is not going to do any better. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about playing competitive basketball. It's yeah, about man. protecting the garden. Not about getting washed by thirty points again. This is the fifth game, Jails, where they yeah, were down man. by more than twenty eight points in a game. Right now, it's about psyche. <laughs> it's about brand pride. It's about pride. It's about it's that's it's all about those things. That's bro. what it's about, man. I'm not ex- again. I'm not expecting the wins. I'm not expecting the next coach to be a miracle worker here. It's the fight, man. We need to fight because right now these these guys, the fight is gone. The fight is completely gone. Fight is gone, man. The fight is gone. Mitch played with pride tonight. Shout out my boy Mitch. Yeah, shout out to Mitch, man. Yeah. Let's read some good stats. Shout, shout out to Mitch, man. He signed this hat actually, man. Shout out, shout out to my guy Mitch. Yo, shout out to yeah. Mitch. Came in with purple today. I hit him up after the Bucks game, man. Told him to keep his head up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit him up, man, because he was he was going through a rough patch. He came out and played with some pride tonight. Yeah, man. Mitch came with some pride with 17 points, got seven rebounds and assists, and two steals and a block. So shout out to Mitch. Shot 75 percent from the field. He yeah. Was he he did Mitch things. He stayed under control. Yeah. He was able to play 29 minutes tonight because he stayed out of foul trouble. So kudos to Mitch. He actually did something tonight. Good job. Good job, yeah. Money Mitch. I mean, other than that, Jails, it was just all downhill, man. You know, once yeah. that th- again, once again, you knew this thing was over in the second because once a, this team gets starts bombing away from three, you know, number one, we can't shoot, and you know, number two, when we start to get, uh, when pressure starts to bust our pipes, that's when they start playing go- and getting back to ISO. That's when yeah. Julius is going one on three. Nowhere yep. to go. He's doing yep. the spinner Rooney hook shot thing that never works. He's yep. all over the place. And then Mook tries to start, and 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 then it just gets all ugly from here, bro. Yeah, the, and the crib. I mean, I, I felt like you know Randall started off started looking, pretty well, looking for people. He did. He, he recognized those teams really early. Kicked out. Yeah, the we got a couple of easy threes that way. But just like you said, uh, started doing a little bit of the one on one. It was too much. And on, on top of that, Morris. He hasn't played in a long time, so like those open threes, he was that he was hitting, even the contested threes he was hitting like early in the year he wasn't hitting them today, so uh, he had a lot of easy looks but he just missed them. And same with RJ, they they knew who to leave open to. They left RJ yeah. open. Uh, they stopped leaving Frank open once he hit a few in a row. Yeah, yeah, they did. And listen, give credit. Are, are we we don't have consistent shooters on this team. RJ can't hit the broadside of a barn. DSJ can't shoot. Uh, Mar uh, Randall's not hitting his shots. Taj is taking too many threes. Please cut that out. Um, yeah. Even though I like Taj, to chill out on the threes. And yeah, that's basically it. Those are your starters. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact. And Those are your starters, man. He wouldn't even take them. He was just trying to get his way into the lane and whatever he could. He wouldn't even take them. Wouldn't was, even take them. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm going to take this small moment to, to gloat a little bit because I said last season yeah. that uh, Frank Lakina would be a better three-point shooter than DSJ. And everybody laughed out, left me out the park last year. And I, 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 I took names just like Ari did. I remember you. All right. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good call, man. Good call called, on that. I called it last season. Yeah. And I was like, get out of here, Jay Ellis. Frank. I was like, All right, I'm, I'm just letting you know. Uh, absolutely, man. Good call on that one, Jails. It's <laughs> It's just, again, you know, where is the resiliency? Where is the fight? We're just not seeing it. And nah, I, don't, I don't know how a coach lasts that long. And that and that was right in front of Dolan again. You know what I mean? Can't be a good sign. Can, cannot um, be a good sign, man. Yeah, I, I saw Sweeney tweeted that uh, Dolan left his seat at halftime. Halftime, yep. A- absolutely, man. Um, salute to the chat once again. Hit that thumbs up for you boys. This is the number one show for the fans by the fans. CP from Knicks Fan TV. My man J. Ls from Nick of Time Show. Mm-hmm. If you're a diehard Knicks fan, you're the real MVP for watching this right now. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Yeah, Subscribe man. to the channel Please so you do. don't miss the next show. Please do. Because this is the home <laughs> of the diehard Knicks fan. Make no mistake, JLs.
Yeah, man. This show is starting to be more entertaining than the games themselves. Yes, and if you are here tonight, you are die. <laughs> yeah, hard real talk. Boy, real talk. They're either diehard Knicks fans, maybe they're Nuggets fans, or maybe it's just like the pity party. Like you know, yeah. they probably feel bad for us, man. That's that's a listen, man. If you yeah. still watch these games. When you die, you deserve 37 versions. <laughs> facts. There we go, man. Go through the chat with us, man. Facts. 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 